Greenwich Peninsula has always been where they've trialled new transport innovations. First there was the East Lanx gas powered Millennium buses and then a driverless car and now another driverless car which I'm hoping to try and get on. This driverless car is made by Ultra PRT so it looks exactly the same as the ones used at Heathrow Airport. Okay, the difference is that one to use it here so I go on a special guideway. Um, um, and the one I uh, special guideway and the ones here don't. There's out in the public. They're basically testing how they'll they're basically testing the sensors because at that at the Heathrow one it's basically the path is computer controlled. Here they use sensors so they're just testing the sensors. I know what, let's film the lift. Come on. We're at, I think, one. Two is not working. Two is working. Oh, maybe we'll this. Yeah. Yeah. They wanted to go up, but they said that it's supposed to be in the staff only area. Floor zero. Door open. It's taken me ages and I still haven't found the driverless. So I took a break by going into the Nissan, um, going into the Nissan pavilion and the computers in there were really slow. So I've been looking for ages and I haven't caught a glimpse of the driverless thing. <laughs> and this is not, this, the busway is not actually closed for testing it, it's closed for road works. There's a transport response van, I wonder if that's... Uh, uh. So then, I do it all... Then, I couldn't, despite being there for a really long time and looking really hard, I could not even catch a glimpse, not only of the, not only of the driverless pod, but of all the service vehicles related to it, like the ultra vans. You think I'd be able to see some ultra vans? Um, for some reason I couldn't see even them. And not only that, but then I had, then I went to a bus stop, and and it wasn't a bus stop which the bus route one two nine usually serves. But the, it was, but it, I had a sign at a different bus stop, because the bus route was on diversion, a sign at a different bus stop said to go to that bus stop instead, because that was on diversion, and the bus driver refused to stop. 